Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a really cool guest with me. I have Reinhard from Mirafel Cigars, who is the uh, VP at Mirafel Cigars. And uh, I'm really excited because they've launched a new cigar, the Uber Luxury Cigar. And uh, Reinhard just came into the country for, what, just a, a half a day? And I managed to get a little slot of time with Reinhard, so I'm gonna ask him a few questions and hopefully we can get a few answers on the uh, brand new cigar that you've launched. But first of all, tell us about Mirafil and how you joined the company. When did that happen? I mean, you, you're now the VP of Mirafil Cigars. Well, I've been with the company for about one and a half years now hmm. and absolutely honored and uh, privileged to be dedicating my time, my resources and energy to building this wonderful new chapter in the Mirafil family legacy and to, to make my humble contribution to 400 years of history, 11 generations of wow. history in, of the Merrifield family and, and here we are today. It's yeah, Thank you. 400 years, I mean that's incredible. And Absolutely. you know, how long has Mirafel been making cigars or as, as, as a brand? How, how long have they been producing? I know that they've been producing a lot of tobacco for uh, a, a quite a long time and they've had, uh, uh, they, they've been in the tobacco industry for a significant period of that history. But how long have they been producing cigars for? So the first Mirafel cigar factory was actually incorporated in 1876 mm. in southern Germany in a small little village called Untergrombach. And the family was growing tobacco there as well as manufacturing cigars. So it's been quite a while actually, but with the inception of Mirafel Cigar, the uber luxury yeah. that we just hand delivered to our treasured customers here in the UK, it's sort of next step um, in that lineage. It's a big step. History. Absolutely. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. So. This is the first time that Mirafel has actually put the name Mirafel to a cigar. Because you've got Selection or Selection Mirafel, Correct. but that doesn't have the Mirafel name. You've got the Mastranza, and I'm going to pronounce it horribly, so you're going to have to correct me. La Estancia. La, la Estancia. La, est la Estancia. La Estancia Edición Exclusiva. Yes. Absolutely. And you've got a range of cigars, and, but they don't have the Mirafel name. So this is the first ever Mirafel named cigar. So right. this is carrying a lot of weight. It does. Uh, it, it's a tremendous responsibility and it's a, it's a legacy project for the family. Mm. Giving back to the cigar loving community, conveying the essence of the family legacy and history really, and to pay respect to those past generations and to those 400 years in the tobacco and premium cigar history. Well, well speaking of the generations and uh, paying respect to the legacy, the names of the, uh, the lines or the master classes of the cigars are paying homage to the people of, you know, uh, the legacy of Mirafel. Like you've got the, uh, the Richard series, is it called a series or? It's called Master Blends. Master Blends. And all of them, as you rightfully said, pay respect to one of those family generations. Mm. So we have the Richard line, which was also the first line that we introduced into the United Kingdom just now. The second revelation will be Mayer Mirafel in honor of Jeremiah, Joshua and Melissa's great, great grandfather. Yes. And Mayer was the gentleman who actually incorporated the, the first Mirafel cigar factory in 1876. He's the guy who started all of this with the cigars. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Even though, as I said, the family has been in tobacco of and cigars way before that, but that was when the first factory was installed. And then when is the Mayer series and then it's, there's the Ernest series Ernst as well? So when, the, when are we going to see these? Because today I've been, you know, I've been hanging out with you and it's been awesome because I've been able to see the new Richard series cigars, the Double Robusto, beautiful, beautiful cigars with that red ashtray. I mean, oh my gosh, it looks stunning. Huge box though. <laughs> it's, it's deceptive when you, look picture, when you look at pictures online, you think, oh yeah, you know, it's just a standard ashtray. It's not, it's freaking huge and it's been stunning. Uh, when are we going to see the other series? So slowly and steadily we want to reveal more Vitolas and more of the Master Blend series. But we want to give it time. We want to build this slowly and organically. Course. And of course only reveal the cigars once they're at their peak and at their very best. So throughout the next year we will see the revelation of the Meir mm. Master Blend. We, we will see some more Vitolas within the, the Richard Master Blend obviously. And I believe Ernst should make an appearance next year as well. Next year as well? Yeah. So that's a lot of work then. We've got our work cut out, yeah, that's for sure. All I know is there's a Lonsdale and there's a Lancero. 
So what's very important is all of the Vitolas that you will see within those master blends are very traditional old Vitolas that bring out the very best and the most delicate balance where the precious vintage Cameroon leaf that we use mm. to to, to adorn and crown those cigars can truly shine and show its full potential. You know, there's a certain balance and harmony that only Mother Nature can give. Yeah. And when you think about the old traditional ring gauges and vitolas, we're talking about 52 and below. They weren't that heavy in terms of the ring gauges, right? Exactly. Yeah. But that's when you have that, that perfect equilibrium between the precious wrapper leaf, yes. the, the binder and the filler. And we want to, to keep that integrity and we want that signature authentic, genuine Maripal Cameroon leaf to shine and truly show its full potential. This is precisely why I'm so excited about the Lancero and the Lonsdale cigar. Those are the two Vitolas that I'm really, really looking forward to trying. Yeah. Uh, your Lancero is a little bit thicker. It's more like, um, uh, it's a 40 ring gauge, it's not a 38. So why did you, is there a reason why you decided to go for the 40 and not the 38? Well, you know, the, the family obviously tried to, to, to really find the perfect balance and the, the the perfect blend yeah. size to, to show off all the, the true potential. But um, with, with all the Vitolas, what you will see is those are really the, the traditional ring gauges and lengths yes. that you would also see in, in, in Cuba traditionally. So our Robusto is four and seven eighth by 50, which it is, is, yes. which is the traditional, the, the yes. traditional Cuban, Cuban size in this case. Speak. So you can expect Corona Gordas, Lonsdale, the Robusto, Pyramid, a Churchill, of course, the Lancero, and the Double Robusto that always comes in that very pristine packaging, it's a 10 counts with the ceramic casket with the ashtray <laughs> in those chests. And all the other Vitolas will be 25 count wooden chests with all the cigars next to each other. So the other ones, they come with the ashtray as well, or is it just a Double Robusto? It's just a Double Robusto. Just a Double Robusto. And the other ones are 25 count 25 wooden chests. Yeah. So, Impressive. I mean, if you see them, those are I need to see it. massive, <laughs> oh, massive they're huge. chests because all the cigars lay next to each other. Oh, I see. So they're not stacked on top of each other. They're all... That is a huge, huge chest. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking Absolutely. of Cuba, the Minafil family has a history with uh, Cuba. They've got a, a long history with Cuban tobacco. And you've also produced cigars with Cuban tobacco in there as well, where you've blended Cuban tobacco with Nicaraguan tobacco, which is, if I'm not mistaken, you're the only company that's ever done that. I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware. You know, have the, you... the Merrifield family has always been instrumental and the family truly shaped the pathways of the industry. Mm. Sometimes behind the scenes, sometimes a little more in front of the curtain, but they've always been there. Yeah. I mean, the, the family is still to this day the largest exporter of Cuban tobacco. Really? And so the family had access and still has access to those very particular tobaccos that you wouldn't find anywhere else. So does the Uber Luxury have any Cuban tobacco or is it a very different blend? We're not disclosing the full blends okay. of the four master blends to this day. Um, the only tobacco that is publicly known is the vintage Cameroon wrapper. Of and that's bales of tobacco that uh, the family started setting aside ever since Richard Marifold died way too early in 2003. Mm. And that was truly the beginning and the inception of the project when Richard Marifold passed away Jeremiah, Joshua, Melissa, they knew they had to do something very, very special and unique to pay tribute of course. to the fam family legacy and to that lineage. And so we're looking at very old tobaccos that so have been set aside. This is 20 years. Absolutely. So, for, so this project, this, the Uber Luxury, the whole series of cigars, this was thought up 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's been in the works for all that time. Absolutely. So you've been so essentially you've been waiting for that tobacco to age up, and to also just get every single step of the process right. I mean, if you look at the project in its entirety, it's about a holistic experience, mm -hmm. and the uber luxury that creation of a new segment in the premium cigar industry means that we deconstruct every element of what makes the holistic experience and try to 
either reinvent it or take it to a level thus unknown. So when you're thinking about the ring, that has been years in the making with one of the finest craftsmen in the industry, a gentleman uh, out of the Netherlands called John Van Tintelen. He said this is the most ridiculous project that he ever worked on. And it took forever <laughs> to come up with that very fine lasering pattern that resembles Belgian lace. Uh, it's again a reference it, to, to it the has family. It a striking and, and look to as soon as you looked, as soon as I looked at the cigar and I saw that cigar band, I was like, wow, it, it immediately hit your eyes in the best way possible. Presentation wise, it's one of the best looking cigars I've ever seen, especially with the, uh, is, it, is, is it a pigtail or I can't remember. It's like it's a, a... It's a flag tail, yeah. or how, however you want to call it, but it's a very impressive... Like it's not a shaggy, it's not a shaggy, or shaggy, shaggy tail, it's more like a kind of twisted, it, not a pigtail, but kind of pigtail. Yeah. yeah, but it looks great, it looks great, and it really stands out. I mean, these cigars, they, they look impressive, I'm, I'm excited to try them. And I'm, ass I'm assuming you've for, for you to try one. Uh, thank it will you. Be a pleasure appreciate to, to have it. you taste and appreciate these these <laughs> masterpieces. Well, I'm very happy to have had you. I know we've only had a very short amount of time with you today. You've got a flight that you need to catch to, to go back but home. You've got it, lots it was of work to do. Very important for me to to spend time with you. I'm very grateful for everything. No, that I'm you very do grateful for the industry, thank you. everything that you share with your viewers and readers and listeners. And you're doing a tremendous job. You know, for us, this is a legacy project, and it's about bringing people together from all walks of life, from all ends of, of of the earth, and to share something with them that has a lot of meaning, that has a lot of history behind it. And so, we're blessed and fortunate to work with the finest partners all around the world, like Tor Imports in the UK, our hand-selected partners, like. James J. Fox, Davidoff of London, Sorta Cigars, but um, also Barbers in, um, in Harrogate. So this truly means a lot to us. And it's because of people like yourself oh, you're too kind. That, that we get to, to share the story. And, you know, some stories are too important not to be shared. And we want to share it with the world. I agree. And it's because of people like yourself that we get to do it. So... Many thanks to you. No, thank you. Thank you. It's been an absolute honor to have you here. And uh, hopefully next time we can have you for a, a longer form video where Most we can certainly. discuss all the history about Mirafel and go into all the details. Uh, but today it's been uh, a short but very sweet uh, visit from you and I've, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you so much thank for coming. Thank you for my It's pleasure. been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.